you were awarded the South Atlantic Medal. What does that symbolize for you? Military medals are a weird thing for me. I mean, I got my Northern Ireland medal and I lost a friend over in Northern Ireland, a guy called Paul Fryer. And then my South Atlantic medal, I lost the best part of 20, 30 friends, my best friend on board the ship. Um, so each medal that I have tends to carry a painful connotation, a painful memory to, to, to their winning really, to their me receiving that prize. Um, so I have a funny take on medals, you know, I really do. Um, they're, a, they're a memory, without a doubt. And sadly, they're always, they're always achieved with somebody else's blood. Um, so I, I'm, I'm proud to have them, mm -hmm. but I would have rather have had my friends than them. Absolutely. If that makes any sense to people. You know, they, they, they are just a teardrop on my chest because somebody else paid the ultimate price for them. So, um, but I'm very proud of them because what we did and what we tried to achieve and what I was doing it for mm -hmm. uh, in my own thought process is what I was after was helping people. And surprise, surprise, by doing that, then others helped me. And it is all about that, you know. And as they, there's, there's lots of people give off great adages in life and there are some that I love and one is fortune favours the brave and misery loves company. So you can go off and be miserable about it all your life and people will gravitate to you who want to be miserable as well. Mm. Or you can be brave about things and get on with your life and other people will gravitate to that positivity. Yeah. And, and that's why I've been so fortunate because I'm very positive about my life and, and the way I see my life going and everything else that that is, has followed on with it. And so many people have have wanted to be around me mm -hmm. and have wanted to support me and wanted to be involved in my life. And that's allowed me to achieve so, so much and probably achieved more since being injured than I possibly would have ever have done had I not. Um, so, you know, people have said, oh, you were unlucky. Well, all of a sudden now it looks like I'm the luckiest guy because it didn't end my life. No. All it did was change the direction of my life. Um, some people took it so much to heart that it really did affect their lives negatively and you, know, you can't blame them for that, you know, but that's not me.